Yikes, what happened to you? Welcome everybody, my name is Min and today I'd like to share with you guys on what I think what's going on with my begonia maculae whitey eye and why she's looking so terrible. She's got a lot of brown and crispy leaves, especially on the edges of the leaves. And I think the main reason is because there's lack of humidity in the household. It's still winter in Melbourne and I've had the heating on in the household and that's drastically reduced the humidity in the household. What I've done lately with her is I've brought her in with me when I'm having showers or bath so she can enjoy that extra humidity and also popping her on a tray of pebble and water and also grouping her up with other plants to try and increase the humidity. And that's really helped because uh, the actual brown and crispy leaves have stopped uh, progressing. You, you can still see that these leaves won't ever recover, but at least the, the actual brown and crispy leaves have actually stopped and not continuing to occur. And I think the second reason is that I've overwatered her during winter and she's still in her nursery, plastic nursery pot. And there's a lot of peat moss in the soil and peat moss tends to hold a lot of the moisture and doesn't dry up as quickly and I'm an overwaterer so I tend to kill my plants by giving it too much water so I'm going to certainly repot her into a terracotta pot because terracotta pots the moisture evaporates more quickly and also I'm going to change the soil mixture and pop her in a soil mixture that is well draining but still maintains moisture and that will consist of 60% premium potting mix and 40% uh, perlite. I think the other reason why she's getting brown and crispy leaves is because I think I've overwatered her. Uh, well, I mentioned I did overwater her, but I think also I've over fertilized her as well. And uh, during winter, I think I've given her must too much fertilizer and that's damaged the leaves as well. I don't think she's actually quite dead because uh, the warmer weather's coming in and there is actually new growth that's occurring, which is a great sign. And also I can't smell any funky smell coming out of the soil. So I don't suspect there is any root rot. And all I'm going to do is increase the humidity in the household, uh, cut back on the watering, repot her, and also be careful with fertilizing. What do you guys to think? Do you have any tips why my begonia maculata whitey eye has so many brown and crispy leaves. I love to read about it in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the likes button, subscribe to the channel so more planting videos can be created. You all enjoy the rest of the week. I'll catch you next time in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye.